And now, please welcome executive producer and co-creator of The Big Bang Theory, Chuck Lorre! Executive producer and co-creator, Bill Prady! Executive producer, Steve Malaro. And now the people you really care about. The adorable Johnny Galecki. The very svelte Jim Parsons. and effervescent and oi, I wish I had hair like that, Kaylee Cuoco. <laughs> this next boy has such a punum on him you could just eat him up, Simon Helberg. How do you pronounce this one? Ugh. Here goes nothing. Kunal Naya. Oh, no, no, no. Naya, Naya, Naya. Kunal Naya. Next, a Jewish girl with a real PhD. I'm quelling. Dr. Mayam Bialik. Finally, cute as a button, Melissa Roush. <laughs> and your moderator, oh, you know who they should have gotten to moderate? Merv Griffin. <laughs> really? When? Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> anyway, I don't know who the hell this is. Chris Hardwick. Hello, welcome to the Big Bang Theory panel. Hi guys. Thank you for thank you for waiting. I know you guys waited. This room is jam-packed. Welcome panel. How are you guys doing? Everyone good? Yeah, hey. Excellent. Let's jump right in. Chuck Lorre, uh, are you tired of making hit shows? Do you wake up every day and you're like, oh, this is so boring? No. Good. All right. <laughs> How do you guys sell? Uh, how do you guys sell a show about nerd culture before it was actually a thing that the that the media took seriously? Even as recently as ten years ago, if you said the word nerd in a network room, they'd be like, "Too niche." So how do you how do you guys do that? I, I don't I don't think we're. What is it? Oh, hi there. I don't think we were doing a show about nerd culture. We were doing a show about people we liked. So, who happened to be who happened to be nerds? No, they were extraordinary people. Absolutely. Is your microphone? I don't know if you're. The idea was that it wasn't about nerds, it was about extraordinary people. And it still is. It's about great people. Where did, the, where did it come from? Well, tell the story. Uh, um, before, I, before I was a writer, I was a computer programmer, and, I, uh, and I, I worked with some terrific, wonderful people, and I, I told Chuck about them one day, and he thought uh, maybe there was a television show in that. Uh, uh, really ama you know, amazing, wonderful people, and I think, you know, uh, for those of us who, uh, who are members of a particular group, sometimes we don't see ourselves depicted on television, and it was uh, fun to be part of doing that. And Steve, you also, uh, I know, Steve, I know you, uh, I, I know you through geek, geek culture, so what, what, what is your contribution to the show? Uh, well, I was not there for the creation, but uh, I've been there since uh, episode two, and uh, right now the only thing I can think about is, there's an episode where Sheldon is uncomfortable on stage in front of enough adults that can trample him, and I totally get that, so <laughs> please stay seated. <laughs> so you guys are, Cass, you're going into, we're going into the fifth season now. You've done four, four seasons of the show. 
As actors, you obviously have auditioned for a bunch of stuff. I know you guys have worked on a ton of other shows. So what, what did you think? Let's start with you, Jim. When you, when you first got the script for the show, what, what went through your head? Um, I, that I really wanted to, uh, I, I really wanted to say these words that, that they had written for Sheldon, you know. I, I've always said I didn't know, I don't know necessarily a good show when I see it. Um, like I, I didn't read it and know one way or the other whether this would work or not, or I don't even, couldn't even think that way. But I did want to say these lines that he said, and I really thought that that if I could learn them, I would be able to do that um, to their liking. And, um, and they did, they liked it and they hired me. Uh, but, uh, but that's really, that's what I thought. And I really, you know, like I say, I just wanted the chance to at least play him in that pilot and then, and then God knows what would happen after that. Yeah, but this happened, so that's good. But how do, you play, how do you play a guy that, like how do you make a character lovable that really has a complete lack of empathy for other human beings. Well, uh, oh, I don't I I I I didn't think about it um in in that way, I guess. That's the only way I know. I didn't try to make him sympathetic. I didn't try to make him um to, to, to garner any empathy for him. I, I think perhaps I've always felt empathy for him. You know what I mean? Like, I think that he's always seemed very human to me uh, as far as I, I, I never, I guess that's it maybe, if anything, is that I've never suspected from the moment I read his first line that he had any nefarious meaning or, or that he did lack emotion. This is just simply his way of dealing, you know? And so, uh, I, I don't know. So I didn't ever see it that way to have to, to backtrack and, and change anything or put anything on it. I just, it is what it is. And it's, um, and he's a, he's a lovely fella. <laughs> <laughs> Pen, um, I'm sorry, I almost called you Penny. I'm sorry, it's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> Kaylee. Uh, I'm just used to seeing your face on a TV and now you're right there. Nerding out a little bit. What's the problem? <laughs> um, Penny really seems to dig nerds. That's awesome. To dig what? Nerds. Nerds? Yeah. yeah. Kaylee digs nerds too. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that I guy love loves you. you. <laughs> oh my God. No, you, if you say that to that guy, he's going to find you after and be like, remember when you say you love me in the panel? <laughs> I got this ring. <laughs> You're in it now. You guys are legally married. <laughs> I, uh, I oversaw that. Has it been for you? Has it been for you on the show the past four years? Can you believe it's been f almost five years no, already? No, I can't believe it. It's been an unbelievable ride. Um, I, 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 I can't believe. It. I mean, when we did the pilot, I feel like we all knew we had something special, and um, I, I can't believe we're going into the fifth year. They've given my character unbelievable growth, and you know, she's totally one of the guys, and she has girlfriends and now, and it's, I don't know, it's just been unreal, and we're just riding this wave as long as you let us. <laughs> How is your, um, how's your leg? How's your leg? Did my a, did my a leg? Did a horse step on your leg? Is that what happened? I think a horse stepped on Simon's leg. <laughs> Simon, you want to take that? Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I, I do make animals angry, so. <laughs> no, it, no, it happened to Kaylee. It was, it was a yeah, I had sad a thing. Accident. I had a little accident last year, but I'm perfectly fine now. Everything's okay now? Yes. Did they, they just, did you have a cast? I had a cast. I, I was back to work after I missed two episodes, but I came back. I had a cast, and they kind of worked around it. And I hopped around, and they were great. The writers were great and helped me out, and um, it worked. It worked out, thank God. So you can go back and watch the episodes where Kelly's standing behind furniture a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, there's a lot of standing. And we and we all got to go to the hospital, and she said, "Oh, look, look how gross it is. Look, look at that." <laughs> yeah, I was I was into it. Yeah, no, but I'm so much better now. <laughs> I can't believe that's been nine months ago or longer. It's weird. 